Hello guys, we're doing polygel nails today. I start by gluing the tips onto my nails. So I'm going to take some glue, uh, put them on the tips. I buffed the, you know, the part of the tip which is meant to be on the nail. I buffed that part a little bit. So now I'm going to put on the glue and just fix it onto my nail. I kind of struggled a bit with this because I'm still new to manicure and nails. Yeah, I've mostly been doing uh, nail tips and press ons, and now I just decided to venture into uh, manicure and gels and acrylics. So, if you see me suffering, that's why. So, pardon me if, some, if something doesn't go right or whatever. And also I would like it if you would leave in the comments uh, if there were any tips or anything that I could have done better in this video. So I'm going to be cutting these short of course because they are way too long for me. Um, I think the longest nails that I feel comfortable wearing is like 2 centimeters. like even 2.5 centimeters will be too long for me and you see that I will start to uh, scratch. Yeah, I get very clumsy when I'm wearing nails that are too long for me, you know, because they feel uncomfortable. Yeah, so that's why here I'm cutting it off because I just wanted something short, something simple. So, yo, leave me a like because I was struggling. <laughs> okay, look at that. So, I was trying to stick it on, they were not sticking on. I don't know, maybe I didn't put enough glue or I didn't put it in the right position. They, some of the nails just kept coming off. So, I had to redo them, like put on more glue, try to fix it. Yeah. Yeah, this is going to be a longer video. I think this is the first long video that I've made and this is the first video that I'm using polygel, that I'm doing something else which is not uh, nail tips, I mean press-ons. So five years later, after I managed to put on the half tips, I started to file. So I'm going for a round oval or oval. I'm filing the sides, um, the edges, and I also filed uh, the part of the tip that is fixed onto my nail, you know, to make it a bit thinner. And for the first time, I felt what a heat spike is because I don't usually do manicures I've only been doing uh, press-ons like I already said so for the first time in my life I filed too hard at, and uh, at the same place at one point and yo I felt it 
Yeah, so yeah, now I, now I know what a heat spike is and I'm going to be more careful next time not to make that happen again. After I'm done filing, I clean up the workspace and I use a finer grit um, nail file to buff off the surface of the tips. Now over here I'm going to be using a little trick that I just thought of. Uh, probably a lot of you might have been doing it already but I just thought of it and I used it. So. I bought these poly gels online of Aliexpress, they were just a set of cheap gels and I'm a beginner so you know I can't be bothered buying expensive stuff just to try with. So I bought these ones and they are not runny, you know, they are not runny runny like that but yeah they are on the softer side and I find that I find it difficult trying to shape them uh, to mold them onto my nail so i just thought that i will mix them with some acrylic and that helps them hold the shape and that makes it easier for me to mold them onto my nail so that's what i did right here so i'm mixing the poly gel into the acrylic powder and i'm going to use that through i'm, I'm gonna do that throughout so that i don't have difficulty uh, and I don't worry about the gel running off, you know, the sides of my fingers. So here I start uh, putting the gel onto my fingers trying to mold it into the shape that I want. I love this process. I think it's addicting but it's also kind of you know mesmerizing. It's nice to look at. So I try you know as best as I can to mold it. Yeah I realized that some parts were bulky like the, the tips ended up bulky but, but then um, I'm still learning so please don't judge me for that yeah after i cured that one i realized that i hadn't prepped my hands so i put um sunscreen on my hands and i also put on that glove with, with the fingers cut off just to protect my hands so i'm just going to continue to put the gel on the rest of the fingers try to shape it and mold it as best as i can I ran out of the mixture over here so I just had to make some more. I decided to make extra because I still had another finger. Please don't mind my fingers, I do a lot of experimenting on them so if they look ratchet or something, please don't, don't mind it. I 
I think it's worth mentioning that I'm using the brush that came with the set of poly gels. I do have a bunch of other brushes that I bought, uh, but they are not specifically for gels. So I just use this one and you know, I, I don't have any problems with it. I, I think it's, it works like it should. Yeah, I don't have any complaints about it. The set also came with some liquid for dipping, but I don't like that. So here I'm, I'm using just alcohol. So done with that, now it's time for shaping. I'm not so good at this. I realized that um, at some points the gel was uneven because I didn't, I wasn't able to file off as much as I should have. And also at the cuticle, um, I don't know if it was the placement of the gel. Or I just fouled off too much yeah and I know that if that happens they can be lifting but hey I'm still learning so yeah there's room for improvement that, that I know Ideally, I should have washed my hands after this process, but I couldn't be bothered. It was deep into the night and I, I was just trying to finish one hand. So here I'm going over with nail polish. I decided to do a design like uh, a design that you could wear for Valentine's. So I'm using this pinkish color. I'm not good at colors either. I'm sorry. <laughs> But yeah, I'm using this color and we're going to be doing a little design on it later. What do you guys think? What color is this though? What, what would it be called? So please write the name of the color you think this gel polish is in the comments. I would be glad to read them. Now moving on to design. So I'm just going to be drawing hearts on the nails but I'm using glitter. This is a glitter polish. Uh, it has uh, like a shiny glitter with some reddish pieces. So uh, what I did was I did four dots like uh, in the form of a cross and then I I joined the dots together to make a heart shape and then I filled it in with the glitter. Sorry if you can't see it so well, uh, I was trying to stay in view while not messing up the design. Uh, but I'm sure that in some, um, at some point you will see what I'm talking about. After I cure that, I'm now going to be drawing the outline of the hearts with this color. This is a, quite a confusing color. So it's red, but it's red. I think it's red mixed with um, with a very hot pink color. Uh, neon pink, I think it's called. <laughs> yeah, so I'm going to be drawing the outline of the hearts with this color. So it doesn't glow in the dark, 
uh, but at some point I wish it did because it had a really nice glow in the lamp and I will show you um, very soon how nice it looked in the lamp look at that look at that glow oh I wish it glowed in the dark too I think this is a very fun and yet very simple design for next week or next two weeks yeah from when I'm making this video for Valentine's it's cute and it's not too much you know for if you are if you don't like too glaring designs I'm top coating now I have the white things in the ridges of uh, of the nails because I didn't wash my hands after filing yeah I know I should have yeah but that's why I have those uh, the next day when I washed my hands they went away So this is it uh, let me know what you think yeah my hands were ashy as hell so I used some hand cream some cuticle oil yeah my hands were on fleek after this <laughs> so thank you for watching let me know what you think in the comments uh, any additions that you would like to add I would love to read them thank you so much for watching see ya in the next one